Hello, we're sitting here with uh, Miguel Neves from Synaxis. And um, he's one of the early readers of uh, the book Meeting Architecture. And I just wanted to talk with you a little bit, uh, Miguel, about what is uh, going on and how you have experienced that uh, book and, and, and what you're doing with it, et cetera. So, go ahead. Well, I first came across the book when you uh, presented it at the Future Leader Forum in uh, 2008, I think, in uh, Las Vegas. And immediately I thought, wow, this is, this is, this is really good. This is, this is what I'm looking for because uh, I'm not really interested in just doing logistics, which is core business, really, but the book really opened up all these opportunities. So I think the big advantage that the book has brought me is, uh, well, it helped me with my studies as well, but a lot of clients, I now have a lot of tools and uh, a way really to explain the potential that their meetings have on their conferences in a way that maybe I didn't have before. So I can tell them, you know, uh, there are all these tools around you, there's all these concepts that can improve your final product. And uh, you know, really, in business language, talk to them, you want, what you really want is this return on your investment. Uh, so doing, let us worry about how you we're going to create the meeting for you, what we're going to do at the conference, and let us offer you all these tools so that you can really get that final result. And I yeah. think that's been real eye-opening. And so you've, you've been uh, playing with it for a couple of years now, and, mm -hmm. and you've probably put some, some of those things in, into practice. Do you have any immediate examples that immediate you can examples. share with us of clients that you've done the design maybe differently of, uh, of a meeting in a way? Well, I mean, there's really simple steps. J just set up of rooms, for example. Just that whole concept of, you know, just because you can fit a thousand people in a room doesn't mean that's really going to help. Just using round tables, using natural light, those kind of simple things, they've made a big difference. I think because they're the easiest to implement, we yes. can turn around to clients and say, no, no, let's, let's, let's use the round tables, let's get the, the conversation going. That's, that's really important. But the, the more complex tools, I'd say, I mean, I, this year I'm really, uh, we have a, a large conference and I'm really focusing on getting some more interactive signage and uh, things that really, uh, interact and really help people communicate and even you know that are greener that save some money save some money save the environment so i'm hoping to create a holistic approach and a lot of it comes from from the books and from the Wonderful. ideas there okay then you also uh, um, have uh, written your uh, dissertation uh, can you share a little bit about that that was a, a big project i uh, i looked at the current ROI model, which I have tremendous respect for and I think is wonderful, but there are certain issues lots of uh, you know, peers had talked to me about, especially how it's very complicated and hard to implement the higher stages of the ROI. So I used some of the thoughts in the book, particularly the, the meeting results formula, and I used it in sort of a ratio format. So I tried to uh, get people to understand what the meeting results formula was about, and uh, achieve. What is the meetings results formula? Uh, learning and networking in brackets, or learning plus networking in brackets, times, motivation. Is that was really the, the basic. result of the meeting, yeah. Yeah, is really you know, what you get out of the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the meeting effectiveness. And so I took that and tried to measure it before and after the meeting. And in a, in a simple format, tried to isolate what happened during the meeting. And uh, you know, it wasn't my intention was not to create a, uh, a very scientifically correct alternative. It was really to have a, a, an easy way to look at ROI and, and to really benchmark it. And in that way, I think it was it was quite successful. And I and I look forward to explaining what I did to people. And and hopefully somebody else will take what I've researched into and, and take it a bit further. And maybe there's a future in that. We would uh, certainly love to publish it on the Meeting Support Institute uh, knowledge base, so if you want to send it to us, we can uh, make sure Absolutely. that people can find that. It would be my pleasure. I'll Wonderful. Send it to you right away. Thank you very much, Miguel Neves. Thank you, Martin.